Hello everyone, Ryan here with Product Impressions and today we're going to take a look at the Philips Neuralco Shaper 6800. I should point out that I received this as a review product and hopefully if you order one online they're a little more conscientious about how this is packaged because mine got absolutely crushed in just a padded envelope. Uh, so yeah, you can see that whole thing is split open. It's cracked all the way down the front. This whole side was torn open. The bottom's coming open. There's a hole punched through the back. So we're going to see if this thing actually still works. All right, so here we have the Philips Norelco Shaver 6800. Get a closer look at the packaging and subsequently the damage done during shipping. Completely open on top. So, comfort glide rings, skin protect blades, multi-head flex, uh, shave wet or dry, and a click on precision trimmer. Not sure how big of a fan I'm going to be of that considering most of the electric razors that I used even 10 years ago or so had that already built into the device, so we're going to see what we think of that. Uh, 50 minute run time, and they say it protects better than a manual blade. All of the indications here on the side about their skin guard mode, it's shower proof, and the battery. Uh, yeah, there we are. Isn't that nice? Just completely ripped open. So yeah, protect your skin from friction, shave with fewer passes, better contouring, shave wet or dry. We are going to give this a try and compare it to a regular twin blade razor that I always use. And we're going to see how it works. First, let's go ahead and just open this. Gee, that was hard. Wonderful packaging. Looks like we have a little cleaning brush there. We've got the device itself, our attachment, and cover for the blades, and the wonderful charging plug. Would be nice if they used a standard USB type so you didn't also have to carry around a specialized charger for it, but what are you going to do? They're a little behind the times. Okay, need help, and a little quick start guide. So, let's give this a try, see how it works. Alright everybody, here we are after three days of growth, so we're going to give this razor a try, see how it works. First impressions, I would say that this works much faster and more smoothly than I was expecting. I haven't used an electric razor in probably about, I don't know, eight or nine years. So the last time that I used one, I remember it feeling kind of uh, rough and hot and feeling like, oh yeah, I'm going to have razor burn. Uh, but this time it feels much smoother. I don't know if that's uh, their new technology with the blade spinning a little bit slower or whatever the case may be, but it seems to have done a pretty uh, thorough job. Uh, now we're Going to give it a couple of days, let this grow back out again, and try it again wet compared to my normal dual blade razor. Right, it's been another couple of days, so now we are going to try this razor wet as compared to standard twin blade razor. Once you've used something like this, it's important to uh, actually clean the razors. So this is uh, pretty simple to do with this one. All you do is pull the heads straight off, and then the blades themselves will pop right off. It's a little difficult to do right now because my hands are wet, but oh, there we go. Popped open. Second side, there we are. And then you just run hot water under these parts, and good to go. Some initial thoughts after finishing using the razor the first time is after rinsing off my face I actually feel like I got a slightly closer shave with the Norelco than I did with the regular twin blade. Though oftentimes if I feel like I haven't gotten close enough shave on the regular blade I will go over it a second time in the opposite direction. I also wanted to take a look at using this for trimming edges. So it's pretty easy to attach any of the uh, accessories, all you have to do is just snap it in, just push it straight in, turn it on like a regular razor, that seems to work pretty well pretty quickly, let's take a look here, 
Yeah, not too sure on that. I'm kind of disappointed with this edging tool. It doesn't really get a nice clean line on there, and I feel like you're going to have to go back and touch it up with a razor anyway. All right, some final thoughts on the Norelco 6800. I've used this multiple days in a row. I've waited two or three days in between shaving. I've used it wet, dry, with shave cream, without. And I'm gonna say every time, I feel like I've gotten a close shave without getting any irritation, which for me is a very good thing. Usually, even when I'm careful, I end up getting a little bit low on my neck. But uh, yeah, never had a problem with this. Uh, the battery probably will last quite a while. I've been using this for uh, about a week and a half uh, and you can actually see after you turn it off, there's the battery indicator. It is still pretty full on the charge. It says it's supposed to last for about 50 minutes, and every time that I shaved, it took only two or three minutes. So it's going to last you a good long while between charges. Um, you do have to clean out the head after every use. Uh, not a big deal. You can just pop it right off, pop it open, run some water through it. Uh, you can use this other attachment to trim the sideburns and things like that. This attachment I am not that impressed with. You'd probably do better just getting a $20 uh, small trimmer from Wall or something like that. Uh, at the time of recording, this is not available anywhere online yet, but I believe that the MSRP is going to be $160-$170. Uh, I would say this might actually be a good buy for that. Uh, it will work for a good long time. It's not going to give a lot of irritation, if any at all. I had no problem with that. If you want to get it and just put it in your car so that you can shave when you get to work if you don't have time in the morning, that would be an excellent way to use this. Uh, yeah, all in all, I am very impressed with this razor. If you found this video helpful or useful, uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description box down below. Thank you very much.